Would you rather have fingers as long as arms or arms as long as fingers? Obviously giant fingers. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only acceptable answer here. If you want it's Emily Fox, today's video is going to be a Q&A slash life update. Uh, I asked you on Twitter and the community tab on YouTube to ask me some questions, things you wanted to know, and uh, I will be answering as many as I can. Feel free to leave some more in the comment section. I'll definitely have to do those videos more uh, regularly. However, I wanted to update you on how I'm doing, how the year is going, and things to expect for the second half, why am I saying the second half of the year, the last quarter of the year. 2019 has been a pretty uh, year for me, uh, mentally, emotionally, financially, physically. Things have been really rough, like if we remember, beginning of the year I caught that stomach thing that I was sick for like three months until I realized I needed antibiotics. Uh, then I had my double jaw surgery, which while planned was still harsh to say the least. And then my phone died, which that was the last drop that summer. Um, and then uh, more recently learned that I would need uh, Invisaligns to crack my teeth because they moved. Damn you little canine. Um, and then uh, I'm actually moving alone. So that's gonna be fun too. On the bright side, it means that you will get to see more videos, more vlogs, more stuff. Uh, since I have to move, I will have to pack all of this, which oh my gosh. Uh, and then it also means I will have to reorganize my bookshelves. Uh, I also actually have to go to Ikea to get another bookshelf because we hit the first goal on Patreon. If you don't know, I have one. I have a bunch of ridiculous goals. If you want to participate, feel free to do so. Don't hesitate also to give me some uh, recommendations of things you would like me to do because the second goal is uh, her face on a t-shirt for whenever I do <laughs> tags that concern her. So, you know, that's always fun. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to go to Ikea, get a bookshelf, and I will be able to reorganize my bookshelves and you will get to see that. Me struggle to build another Billy bookshelf and then just, you know, shoving all those books back on it. So uh, that's coming very soon. As far as my reading goals for 2019, I mean, let's be honest, uh, like I said, the year has not been going as planned, so I am pretty much giving up on a lot of these. However, uh, not fully, like I am kind of giving up the big book reading challenge, which we kind of already knew at this point. <laughs> uh, however, I am still reading big books, so it's not like I'm reading none, just not the one that were planned, so there's that. Although December for sure, I'm still reading uh, the one with the sisters. What was it? Little Women. Uh, December that's going to be the big book, but otherwise I think I'm just trying to finish up my other uh, Goodreads reading challenge for the award show that's coming. Uh, but yeah, I will not be picking up another big book for November, officially at least, not the one that was planned, because life. <laughs> but I'm still reading, I'm still hoping to try and hit as many of my other goals as possible so I can do, like I said, all my end of the year book series, which uh, I'm so excited for those videos. December is going to be busy basically filming this because I will be posting every two days. So uh, a, a lot, and I mean a lot of videos coming your way. So there's always that to look forward to. I know a lot of people were asking me uh, like the best and worst books that I've read uh, from those challenges, which again, I will do specific videos on them, but like the best big book that I've read, the first one that comes to mind is A Little Life because <sighs> that was harsh. This book is going to stick with me forever and like my stupid self decided to read that right after surgery which like you already super emotional so that was like um but yeah that, that is definitely the book I am thinking about right now and as far as the like worst book and I don't think that one was part of challenges I need to like go back to a list of questions to answer them but the first one that comes to mind is Nine Perfect Strangers by Leon Moriarty probably because I talked about it recently in a video but that book was, I did not even finish it and I still left a ridiculously long review on Goodreads. I'm pretty sure actually I'm the number one review because I am bashing it. And I swear on Goodreads, unless you're gushing or bashing, your review is not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I, I was definitely very, very negative in that one. I think I gave it one star and I didn't even finish the book. Which usually, uh, if I don't finish the book, I don't give them a rating, but that one was just that bad. So yeah, that, that is definitely the one that is in my mind right now as the worst book. By the way, um, I'm drinking some tea. I always get asked what I like. This is stash tea in lemon ginger because you might have noticed my turkey uh, sweater because 
Right now it is Canadian Thanksgiving and I've had way too much food. So I'm trying to suit my nausea. <laughs> this is by the way supposed to be a llama, but it looks like a ridiculous cat, which is why I like it. Okay, so I have my laptop. Let me go back to all the questions and answer as many as I can. <laughs> Everyone is asking me about her. She's fine for now. Uh, if she keeps her shenanigans, is that how I say that in English? I, I'm so stiff today, probably because I like chew so much today. Um, she may have an accident, you know? She's placed dangerously high on that shelf. It would be sad if something happened. Uh, also, her Halloween costume, obviously she's a kiss. I thought we've already established that, like all year round, that that's what she is, so. Hardback or paperback? Floppy paperbacks, obviously. A lot of people ask me tips on how to learn French. I don't know. <laughs> like, I grew up speaking French, so I have no idea how you're supposed to learn it. It's like when on Beauty Channel I see something in French and everyone's like, oh my god, your French is so good. I'm like, thanks. I've only spoken my whole life. <laughs> like, I get no credit here. I, I have no idea. I think you would be luckier asking someone else that actually had to learn French how to, because and everyone that wants to hear me speak French, that wants me to do ASMR or uh, do French videos or asking me if I will, I won't. Uh, I do have a couple on my beauty channel. You can easily check on YouTube, uh, Emily Fox French. You'll find them. It's basically ASMR because I speak so softly in those videos. So they're pretty old. But yeah, if you want to hear me speak French, feel free to watch those slash. I will answer the French questions in French. That's going to be our compromise. What did you want to do as a kid? I wanted to be a vet. Yeah, animals. Basically, that was my little brain. I wanted to do animals. So I just wanted to hang out with animals. That's basically how my child brain was working. And then after that, I did want to go into medicine, but then I realized one day I would be responsible for someone's death. So I said, no. So didn't do that. Which book made you realize, hey, maybe I like this whole reading thing. Uh, I can't remember starting to read. My parents, like my mom would read to us and everything, so I've always read slash I used to trick people into thinking I could read because I would remember the whole book. So also a lot of people think I'm from Montreal or France. Uh, neither. Uh, actually, recently on my beauty channel, someone was telling me, because, okay, real talk, this isn't the goal of this channel, this is about books, but I feel like I can share more like life stuff on this channel than the other one. But like I've been getting a bunch of for uh, my surgery, right? because people are um, And someone was telling me how I had lost my authentic French face now. And I'm like, I'm not even French. <laughs> like I speak French, but I'm not French. Anyway, uh, no, I'm not French. See, that's a good one. If you could have one Pokemon, which one would it be? Uh, obviously Arcanine, duh. But real talk though, which Pokemon do you start every game with? Because if it's not Charmander, I don't think we should even talk anymore. Would you ever join a book club in theory, yes. In actuality, probably not. That involves talking to people. I wouldn't mind if it were people that I know, you know what I mean? But most people I know don't really read, slash when they do read, it's not stuff that I read. Um, I was mentioning I had a bunch of friends that really enjoy things like self-help and I can't deal. Uh, I want to like self-help, but my brain is like, so I can't enjoy them. Uh, so yeah. I love a bunch of questions about my boyfriend. What boyfriend? No boyfriend. Do you have siblings? Yes, an older brother, younger sister. A bunch of people are asking me which channel I prefer. Um, real talk, I don't think I would be able to only do beauty anymore just because of all the stuff I've been getting about my surgery, right? And I feel like to stay sane, I need the book channel <laughs> because I feel like everyone is so chill on here compared to the other channel and people actually care a little about me. Like, obviously, it's gonna be all over the place no matter what. Like, I don't expect the average person to watch me to actually care care, but uh, I find that the beauty channel is very dehumanizing. Um, like, literally, you'll do a review video, you try to give the information, you know, as much as possible so they can make their own choice, and then you get people being like, you're talking too much, and I'm like, the fuck do you want me to do? Like, I'm not gonna mind my review, like, I'm trying to actually be, be helpful, but yeah, <laughs> it's been rough lately, like, just keeping it real, uh, it's been very difficult mentally to deal with healing from the surgery while getting a bunch of shit every day. <laughs> Are you planning on doing more fashion videos? Hells yes, but again, on the other channel. What tropes do I enjoy that other people hate? 
don't know if people hate it, but things that people don't necessarily expect from me, because like when I did my best romance book, everyone was like, what the hell happened to you? Um, because I've been so vocal about my issues about romance. And I'm realizing that I like the whole hate to love. So I'm assuming some people probably hate this, but I guess I'm into that and I didn't even realize. Are there any genre that you would love to read more of, but you just haven't had giving them enough attention? No, I think I'm reading what I want to read mostly, like at least genre-wise. I do feel like sci-fi is not loved enough on booktube, which is probably why I'm like doubling down and like reading more and more and just shoving it down everyone's throat because sci-fi. But if you're looking for some recommendations, I'm planning on doing a second video soon, but I did do like a beginner's guide so you can easily check that out on my channel. But yes, there are more videos like that. Uh, for fantasy 2 it's coming uh working on that but i feel like i'm always trying to like oh read some more read some more first uh but like i'm doing one once in a while i did one for uh Stephen king i did that first one for sci-fi i have more coming working on it as soon as i'm like fully moved and like stable uh actually when you see this video i will already have moved it's just that this was pre-filmed because that was pretty easy to do but yeah i have a lot of unpacking to do who's your favorite uh friends character oh Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Everyone loves Rachel and Ross together, I feel like. I, I know not everyone, but like so many people and I freaking hate them. And like the whole, we were on a break thing. I get so mad every time someone is like going on Ross side because I don't even like Rachel, okay? She's not a good person either. She's not that bad, but you know what I mean? But like Ross is literally the worst. Like I hate him, like with a passion. Like I, I hate him. Um, I feel like, the least toxic person is probably Chan Chandler. I feel like he's the least toxic. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess he's my favorite. I think my issue is that they were like very unstable characters. Like Joey is like kind of bad in the beginning and then becomes better. And then uh, Phoebe, it's kind of the opposite. She was fine in the beginning, kind of became a bit awful at the end. So yeah, they were just very not consistent. Uh, what genre do you dislike the most? Romance, self-help? I don't know. I, I might have to establish that in 2020. <laughs> Which book world would you like to live in? Any with magic, if I get to get some magic too. Yes. W would, wouldn't you? I mean... Would you rather live in a world of giant intelligent spiders? <laughs> Children of time. Or nuclear apocalypse? How is that a question? I'll take the spiders over the freaking nuclear apocalypse, obviously. Would I ever be a better reader for uh, someone writing a book? And just, let, let's just talk about authors for a second, okay? I need, in order to be able to review books, to pretend authors don't exist. Uh, because I have to be able to stay objective slash, is it ever objective a review? Probably not. But like, when I do these videos, I always hope authors will not watch them or read them on Goodreads because nothing good would come out of it. Uh, even if I'm raving about it. I don't want to think about them reading it. Uh, I want to be able to be 100% honest slash still be a little entertaining because that's still kind of the point, right? And yeah, I don't want to hurt anyone like ever. Like I would never want to hurt anyone's feelings, but obviously if they come and look at them, then it's their own fault. But yeah, I don't want to read anyone's uh, book like ever. I get a lot of emails, please stop. I don't want to read your book. And uh, a lot of authors use... I'm sure other booktubers are the same. Uh, they use us as a billboard and just start advertising their own stuff in my comment section and I block every single one of them and I will continue to do so. Oz, Narnia, Wonderland, or Hogwarts. Hogwarts, obviously. Example when you like the show movie better than the book. I should do a video about that, but um, first that comes to mind, I don't think it's better necessarily, but like Lord of the Rings is like very easy to watch as a movie compared to reading the books. So that's one. Are you doing any secret project videos for the channel right now? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, not gonna say what they are, but yes, yes. <laughs> I feel like I haven't had the chance to post all the content slash the content I especially wanted to post because of everything this year, right? I had to pre-film three months for this and now I had to pre-film uh, a few weeks for moving. So yeah, it's a bit rough. And then the end of the year is approaching so fast that I'm not sure I'm gonna have time before my end of the year series. So 2020, so much, so much is coming. Be excited for sure. <laughs> if you couldn't eat Cheerios anymore, no! <laughs> what would you eat while reading? I mean, it probably would get worse for my health. I would probably just eat chips and chocolate. <laughs> 
what do you guys eat? Like, otherwise, I just drink mostly, but yeah, Cheerios are just not dirty, you know what I mean? Like, it's like everything else, I will just have crumbs everywhere, or I will just have sticky fingers in my books. That's not good. So that's why Cheerios are the best. <laughs> what are some questions you hate being asked during Q&As and the ones you refuse to answer? Where I live, stop asking. People take make so many assumptions and I will not confirm ever because I, I've had horrible experiences already and I'm not even like a huge, you know, YouTuber. So no, there are other things. So that's definitely the first one that pops into my mind. I'm losing my voice. Wow. Uh. Ah, your favorite Y fantasy book. I'm assuming except Harry Potter, right? Is it cheating if I say is dark materials? I want everyone to read it. There's the TV show coming any day now as I'm filming this. I will die when it actually comes out. So read it, please, please, it's so good. Uh, your house burns. No, <laughs> but you can only save five books. No, what would they be and why? No. <laughs> Uh, I hate, see, questions I hate answering. I hate answering favorite questions. Like when you can only choose one or like, oh, if you're on Desert Island, I would rather have no books, okay, than only being stuck reading one forever. I'm, I'm that stubborn. I'm like that petty. If he, I can only read one book forever, none. Fuck it. I'll find other things to do. <laughs> Obviously would be very sad, but like, no. Uh, have you read some manga in your life? I think so, but I can't really remember much. It's not really my thing. The next few are about uh, Nevernight, the series. Uh, Ashley or Trick? The one I think she should end up with? Ashlyn. The best person, like as a person? Trick. <laughs> Am I cheating? Obviously. Mr. Kindly or Eclipse? Mr. Kindly. Are you planning on doing collabs? Are there any books you wish you could unread? <sighs> Frankly? I think I'm more mad about the books that I am indifferent towards than the ones that I hate. Because the ones that I hate, it's funny to be able to bash them. And the ones that I'm so like, eh, about, I feel like that was a waste of time. I can't even get the enjoyment of being petty, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I will have to look at that. Ah, see, French question. Prepare your ears. Enjoy. As-tu grandi francophone ou anglophone? C'est quoi la place de chaque langue dans ton quotidien? J'ai grandi 100% francophone. Um... J'ai appris le minimum à l'école. Je pense que tout le monde qui vient du Québec <rire> le savent. À moins que tu sois déjà bilingue, t'apprends pas grand-chose. Yes, no toaster, c'est une joke, hein? j'ai appris par moi-même après. Donc, euh, dans ma vie de tous les jours, je parle en français avec ma famille. Sinon, c'est toujours en anglais. Everyone is so obsessed over astrology right now. Uh, I am an Aries, which means I don't care. And if I had to choose one of those earth, water, fire, air, fire. So I guess, again, very Aries of me. My friend loves that stuff and we love to tease each other. And I always laugh at her because she has like crystals and stuff. So I would just, <laughs> when she annoys me, I'm just like, go lick your crystals. <laughs> we love each other, okay? This is love. Um, <laughs> would you rather get a paper cut for every page you turn or never read the last 50 pages of every book you... What kind of monster are you? What happens though if I do audiobooks instead? Did I just cheat? Because that sounds like the solution to me. And what about ebooks? Um, I guess I'm never finishing a book. That's gonna be fun. If you could only read one author for the rest of your life, who would that be? Brendan Sanderson. That way I would always have something new to read because Stephen King would probably also be a good answer just because he comes out with so many books, but I feel like I would enjoy myself better with Stephen King. <laughs> Brendan Sanderson. Thank you, brain. Have you ever read Harry Potter? No. No, definitely not. So it turns out that literally all my memory cards are full right now because I've been pre-filming, like I said, and I don't want to delete any footage that is important. So uh, we're gonna end this here, but again, keep in mind, I am planning on doing a bunch of reading vlogs that will be coming up slash in that one reading vlog where I reorganize my bookshelf. I will count the amount of books that I have that are unread and the ones that uh, just the total amount that I have, you're gonna be able to tell anyway from that video. But yeah, uh, I am dreading that, but it is coming again. I need to just go to Ikea because not all the books fit right now and I have like a pile on the floor. So that needs to be fixed. So that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if there's any other questions you would like me to answer in the comment section. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you soon, very, very shoo shoo. I will shoo shoo you soon. Uh, I will be putting some more videos on the screen that 
I recommend you check out and we will both see you very soon.